Hello, Prim friends. So I am at Black Cat Primitives, and this is a special sale that Carolyn Thornton puts on once a year, and she has invited some of her Primmy friends as well. So we'll go through her adorable little shop back here in the back of her property and it has a lean-to and then a, a garage building and then some tents up front so this is definitely a place that you will want to visit tomorrow Friday August 2nd and I'm just gonna go through and kind of give you a little peek at some of the sweet pieces that they have here and Carolyn has two shows that happen uh, every year, one in the spring and one in the fall for Christmas. The Gathered Treasures shows that are just such, they're just delightful shows. Her prices here are wonderful. Neat little fabric covered box. Oh my gosh. I've said this a couple times recently, like goals. We have, now that we have the barn, we have a shed. And as we were moving things around and putting things back into the barn, I said to my husband, so does this mean the shed can become a she shed? And he was absolutely all on board with that. So I'm really looking forward to we're going to have a barn sale at some point and uh, get some things out of the way. And so we will be able to um, start putting together my shed and turning it into a she shed. I love this little red wicker child's chair. It's got that red and the green. There's a little old vintage hooked rug here. I love the little cupboards. Nice basket up there. And a lovely twig shelf also. It's a great brown plaid dress that it just looks wonderful on that um, dress form. Really neat. Again, another lovely prim basket. Nice handle on that. And then this great copper kettle. Wonderful price on that. It does have the lid. Here's a neat winding device of some sort here. You can see where the spot is on this side and then here's where it would have continued to wind. That's really neat. Some nice old wooden spoons always room to add a couple of those and then here a sweet little little log cabin and the top does lift off so you can put little goodies inside there it's a pretty tin candle stick or candle sconce for on the wall seeing some crazy quilt pillows and some lace-up vintage shoes. Oh, the Lone Ranger. How cute how these things are all staged. Really sweet. Here's a piece of the red and blue coverlet. It's neat. Nice to get find pieces that are 
cutter pieces to make pillows or some kinds of things out of and cute little piece of art. These dolls over here, these early dolls, so much history. Some children's leather gloves, look how tiny those are. And a very pretty yellowware pitcher. Again, more hand, kitchen hand tools. There is so much here to see. I hope I'm going close for some of the things that you are interested in. But again, the very best thing you can do is be here. Just be here tomorrow. This is in Shelby, Ohio. But this certainly gives you an idea of what wonderful things that they have at the shows the Christmas and the spring one. I took my sister-in-law this time and she really enjoyed it and purchased several items. It's a wonderful gathering of people with all of their goodies. Here's another. Oh, hi. Well, hello. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. I'm probably not who you think I am. Right? Am you're looking for somebody? So here is this neat shed. And her husband built a lean-to onto the side of it. How adorable is that? You have a nice wash tub here. These are great for planting in or when you have a party you can fill with ice. Put the um, you know the bottled or canned drinks in there and it does have the spigot at the bottom so you can close that off love the signs fried green tomatoes there were signs over here as well apple peaches and pears there's another double wash bin over here hi sweetie The old red footstool and some wonderful crocs. Again, you can plant or put a pot just right in there on the top or flip it over and put the pots on top of them that way. This is just so cute. And then she has this. ladder right outside the front of the shed with the grapevine attached and then these wonderful Edison lights nice big barrel and the old washstand prim prims just just such fun pieces oh look at the cider sign hi so, oh you have the most beautiful eyes the old rusty uh, bed springs. These are fun to actually hang from a ceiling and then hang the white lights or the Edison lights from on a porch. I have seen those done before. They're also great to hang the gourds off of or use as a drying rack from, um, from a ceiling. Are you gonna come with me? Yeah, will you be my tour guide? Some of the fun older brooms, just like we used with the scarecrows in uh, our last video. If you haven't seen it, I hope you will check it out. Just a fun, fun video of how to use some very easy to find uh, pieces and turn it into something wonderful. They've got some free pieces. Look at that. That wonderful frame 
really neat blue ice cream chairs. Those are adorable. What is this? A vintage creeper. So if you need to roll underneath a truck or a tractor or a vehicle back in the day, there you go. There's the cushion for your head. Oh, looks like an old radio. I wonder if that's like Bakelite. Early bucket. Neat little white medicine cabinet with that chippy, chippy paint. Love how the fence frames this side of the lean-to. And even the fence sections are different pieces or different shapes, but they just, it just looks adorable. How clever. Here's a bunch of railroad spikes. If you watched my video from last year, you can use those for the um, oh, what's it called? The stem on the concrete pumpkins. That's an excellent price on those. Her prices here are wonderful. Nice old bell. Oh my goodness. So hopefully this um, good weather and dry weather will continue for them. I know we need rain desperately. We had a just a little mini burst of rain the other day, but not enough to really water things. Oh, the sunflower sign. Wash day. The old the vintage uh, roller skates. There's a neat, neat box that's got leather hinges. All right, well, let's go check out what's in the garage. Okay, so these are pieces that are in the garage. There's a neat early like, oil light. And this is a great little bin. Oh, check that out. It's like it's got the spot on the bottom. It's, I think it's a feeder of some sort. So the feed can come out the bottom. How cute. Those are great to put your uh, trash can inside or your dog or cat food. I kind of hide it away in your kitchen. Sweet little angel, lots of tins, vintage tins. Some neat artwork, all very vintage and prim. Ouch. Cute. Look at these. Dental Sweet Snuff. Oh my goodness. Dental Sweet Snuff. Cute. It's a neat vintage globe. So many things have changed since then. Nice little rocking chair. I love these finials on them. They look like acorns. Pretty. It looks like it's pegged. Yes. Looks perhaps to be pegged. There's a neat old red bin. And that is on feet and there's got hinges. 
Very cool. Nice big barrel. Vintage early table with that scrub top. These are wonderful inside or outside on a porch next to a barn. Bench is neat. And that's on sale as well. I like this little wooden carrier. Again, another huge barrel. Another wooden carrier that's cute with those little clay flower pots in it. Two piece barrel set. Barrel stand. Barrel on stand. Oh, yeah, look at Okay. So there's the barrel. And then it's on a stand. I wonder if that was a. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Butter churn, perhaps? Oh, my. It has been hot. I think my brain is a bit fried. Some cookie cutters. A bag of sewing pieces. A bag of miscellaneous. Oh, those are neat. I saw a scarecrow, I think, over here. Let's go back this way. I saw him, and while I was thinking about what I wanted to call that, isn't he cute? Like the Tin Man. Flannel shirt. Oh, that's adorable. All right, well, let's go on out front and see what goodies are in the front yard. Okay, so now we are in the front yard and Lauren and Sue have this area, all kinds of goodies, prim quilts and perhaps cutter pieces. This is a neat a uh, cubby cabinet. Again, I can't stress enough. The prices here are wonderful, so you definitely want to get here early. Like that little coffee mill. That's really cute. And the peanut butter jar. Sky, Sky Harbor. Nice blue bowl. It's just staged all so, so nicely. Get the whole set of jelly jars. Oh, cute. Nice little yellow soap dish from Westinghouse. And several of the brown crocs. These are lovely wheels and then the old ice skates, lots of early tins, a nice little bench with the drawer with the hooked rug piece on top. Some of the early stoneware bottles. Huge bowl. Very nice. And then another smaller one. A hooked pumpkin, it looks like, in there. So 
vintage silverware. Oh, cute. Primitive TP holder. Here's a beautiful coach purse and a hooked heart. And lots of these wonderful mashers. Well, let's go check out the porch as well. Oh, these are really cute with the applique. The sweet little snowman. Well, here is the porch also, Carolyn's goodies up here and then we'll go to one more of her friends um, tent area Chris oh, love that little red stool and the chicken water or feeder Metal scoop. This is set up just so cute. Little footstool or step stool. Nice crock, a five gallon, a nice bench as well. Here's the early milk box. Neat. And the barrel with the top. Love this chippy, nice white chippy bucket. That's for sale also. And the wooden pig and a divided box here. The grapevine tree. Oh my goodness, cute, cute stuff and all displayed. So neat. There's a little metal stand. Chicken water. Neat little rusty lantern. That would be adorable on a on a porch like they have it here. Love the white lights. They have the white lights here and then in the back the Edison lights as well. Love that with the vine on it. And here are some nice pieces these are from their friend Chris so some of the farmhouse looking pieces and then these beautiful lovely books that they put together happy chums and look inside these you can put maybe your child's um, first haircut pieces in they are so clever so well done these beautiful memory books photos that is amazing here's another one with the bird here's one Black Beauty. Oh, so clever. And here a large one. Oh my goodness, so much time went into putting these together. All right, well, I hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you will also. Um, subscribe if you haven't already 
again check if you are subscribed sometimes things just sort of happen and people get unsubscribed so make sure to check if you are not subscribed hit that subscribe button and happy shopping at this wonderful sale here on Friday and take care and we will see you in the next one I have a, another wonderful prim fall project coming up easy to find materials I think you're gonna love it so keep watching and we'll see you in the next one